What's up guys, Dilly Diver here, welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to another episode, I hope all of you had an amazing day as always, and if you are new to the channel, tune in for the first time guys, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, and join the Dumpster Squad, new episodes of Dumpster Diving, treasure hunting every single night guys, a lot of fun, find so much cool stuff you already know, definitely worth going ahead and smashing that subscribe button, as always guys, if you missed last night's episode, link will be in the description, found some amazing stuff, as usual, definitely worth Go ahead and check that out after this episode, guys. So over here, we are at the um, bookstore. Honestly, I took a peek in here. I don't see any books. There was a box right there. I opened it up, and sadly, it was just a, like a bunch of trash inside of it. But I looked down here, and there's a freaking... Looks like an umbrella, so I don't know. I just figured I'd go out and i start the episode off here. This is the second um, stop for tonight. We've already been to two places. Didn't have any luck quite yet, guys. So, um, like I said, this is going to be the... No, this is the third. I'm sorry. This is the third stop for tonight. We've already been to two places. Third stop for tonight. Just figured I'd go ahead and start the episode off here. Possibly could be something amazing inside of this bag, guys. So, let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. Let's tear this thing open. Dude, obviously, let's just go ahead and grab this first because I see that. All right. I guess, I guess the bookstore sells this because, I mean, there's a note on it. It just says Velcro tab came off damaged. So, not a big deal to me. I'll take that for free. It looks like some kind of design on it. Is it going to focus for me? Yeah. Oh, I guess kind of. You guys can see it. It looks like a maybe... What in the world is that? Somebody drop me a comment and let me know what that is. Somebody probably knows. It looks like possibly it could be like a caterpillar or... I have no idea. <laughs> What does that say on the bottom? I can't even make that out. I don't know. You guys drop me a comment and let me know. Uh, I don't even know how to open it, to be honest with you. I don't know. I'm not even going to mess with it. It looks like it's probably fine. I'm probably going to mess with it a little bit. Definitely pretty cool. I'm going to keep that. So, in case we don't find anything, I found an umbrella inside of a bookstore, which is kind of weird. But anyway, let's get back inside of this bag. Ooh! Oh, God. Guys, you know what the, um, the funny thing was? Um, I know for a fact there was somebody already inside of here because there was a bag down there that's already completely torn up, and it looks like they just kind of gave up, but I don't know. It looks like there's going to be some stuff in here. I don't know. I was here last night, so there was uh, nothing already torn up. So, like, there's trash over here thrown up there and all that. I don't know. So, hopefully... They, um, obviously, not hopefully, they missed a couple things because they hid some stuff inside of this bag. Let's should check this stuff out. Whoa. That is freaking awesome. Yo-yo tricks. Instruction book with tw 12 easy to learn moves. That is flipping epic. And there is two yo-yos inside of there. Oh, that is freaking awesome. What's, how much was it? I don't really, oh, there it is. $9.95, actually a pretty good deal. That is freaking epic, definitely going to take that. I have not used a yo-yo in so many years. Cannot wait to mess with that. Ooh, looks like possibly a book. Ooh, it's heavy too. Oh man, it's big. Whoa. Classic, oh, it's a classic storybook. Uh, damaged spine, oh, I can see right there. Not a big deal though. Freaking awesome. Let's rip that off. I guess this just has a whole bunch of, um, yeah, just a whole bunch of stories inside of one book, which is really, really cool. Classic stories. Dude, this thing is, this thing is like really freaking heavy. I wonder how much this was. I don't, no, I don't see a price, sadly, but I don't care. It's still going to take it, obviously, but I really like when I see the prices so I can see how much the stuff that we find is. It's crazy. <laughs> I know I thought I saw something else. I gotta try to pull this bag up a little bit more. I thought I saw something else left inside of here. Oh, here we go. And this is going to collapse. What is this? Amazing space. Discover the solar system. Um. Oh. It's a freaking, like... I guess you build it that makes it look like that. And it looks like the solar system? That is really, really neat, actually. That is really cool. I've never found something like that. That is really interesting. I cannot wait to mess with that. I'm thinking this is going to be something I would keep for myself. That That's, like, really interesting to me. 
And, oh, here's the price. I was looking for that. $12.95. So 13 bucks for this. Obviously, it's a little bit banged up. I'm sure all the parts are inside of there. Freaking awesome jackpot already inside of one bag. All right, this bag completely <laughs> collapsed. Let's see if we can get something else out of here. I thought I saw one more thing. I'm trying to be careful, though. So it doesn't fall to the bottom because I really don't feel like jumping inside of here tonight. What is this? Whoa. What? A bag of organic soil. What in the world? Are you kidding me? Dude, there's no way. That, do they really sell this inside of the bookstore? I don't know. Somebody probably just threw that in there. It's literally a bag of organic soil. Paper whites. Hmm. I have no clue. I'm going to take it and give it to my wife. She'd probably love that, but that is really strange to find inside of there. What? What in the world? All right. I think that is pretty much probably it. That's going to be pretty much it for that bag. Um, a lot of these bags, like I said, was... I already checked in here last night, obviously. Yeah... I think that's pretty much it guys. Everything looks pretty much the same over there as well. So still got an oh drop something. Still got um a couple cool things out of here. A little bit of a jackpot. Um that's pretty much gonna do it over here, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Holy crap guys, we just left the um bed and bath store. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um we had to dodge the security really, really fast. I did not get any clips or anything. I hurry up and I grab this out of there. Um I just know obviously I'm gonna show you guys, but it's sitting inside of my trunk right now. We just pulled down the street. Guys, check this thing out. This is ninety freaking dollars. This is a four foot tall freaking snowman. Absolutely insane it looks like everything is there honestly um i haven't taken it out of the box obviously yet but i'm sure everything is there it might be a little bit banged up but i don't know freaking amazing amazing jackpot like i said i do apologize i i just could not get a clip the security was flipping like right in front of us um i just hurry up i jumped out of the car i took a peek i grabbed this out of there really really fast and um that was pretty much it and then i did find one more thing which is inside of the car this is I guess you would call this like a baby, like a bassinet or whatever. Uh, sadly, I did not find the battery cover right here. So um, that is missing, but not a huge deal. I don't know. You could probably order that online. But I don't even see anything wrong with this at all. And another thing, exciting note is they're not um, they're not spray painting the items anymore. I told you guys before, this is why I still check this every now and again. But they're not spray painting the items. This thing just pretty much uh, rocks back and forth. I did find the cord. I don't know if you could see it way back there sitting on the seat. Everything is there besides the um the faceplate for the uh the battery cover but freaking awesome jackpot like i said one more time i do apologize i just could not get a clip i had to dodge the security as fast as i possibly could because i don't want to get banned from there so guys that is pretty much it over there i just thought i'd give you a quick look 90 flipping dollars four foot tall snowman guys let's go ahead and move on to the next one over here at the office supply store holy cow check this freaking office chair out Oh my god, this thing is amazing. Look how cushiony it is. What's really, really epic about this, guys, is I honestly, I need one. I just got a new desk. I just bought a new computer, and um, I need a new, uh, and I got a new desk. Actually, it wasn't new. I bought it used, but anyway, I got a uh, new desk, new computer, and I really needed a new chair, guys, and this thing is freaking awesome. I'm sorry. It's like really, really dark back here, and um, this camera light, it, this, it doesn't help very much, to be honest with you. But anyway, look how freaking cushiony this is. And what's even more amazing, guys, this is just, uh, it's really, really cold outside. So this is just frozen on there, honestly. So that'll wipe right off. That's just frozen water. But anyway, this thing is awesome. And usually, guys, every time that they throw these things out, at least my experience, they'll take a box cutter and they'll slash it, like, down the center of it. So um, nobody will take it out of here. But freaking awesome, guys. It is, sadly, um, it's missing one of the armrests right here. So maybe we can find it. I have no idea. But I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to pause really quick and pull this out of here. And then we'll go through the rest of this stuff in here. It could be something else amazing. Who knows? Pulled it out, guys. And sadly, I, I hate to say this, but I pulled it out. I don't know if you guys could see over there. Obviously, you can. But um, it... What I'm trying to say is this freaking thing needs the armrest. Um, the, like the whole back of it is like lopsided. I've never seen a chair like this that absolutely is like reliant on an armrest. 
but sadly, like the back of it just completely lopsides if it doesn't have the other armrest. Extremely disappointing, but anyway, I'm inside the dumpster here, so let's go ahead and we're gonna search for it. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna find it. I'm assuming that's why they threw it out. For some reason or another, it doesn't have the armrest. Who knows, but anyway. Uh, this looks like a bunch of paper. Yeah. I really don't think we're gonna find it, guys. Really disappointed about that. That freaking chair is epic looking. Extremely comfortable, too. You saw how fluffy it was, but I just don't... I don't think we're gonna find it. That is an ink cartridge. Like, there is not... Uh, there isn't a whole lot in here, to be honest with you. This is pretty much it. So, sadly... I don't think I'm going to take it. It doesn't have the armrest, and I'm not in dire need of one that bad because, like I said, obviously I already have one. I just really like to have another one um, because I did buy a new computer. I like to have, like, a whole brand new setup, but you know what? Um, it's not even worth taking for me, honestly. I know you guys are probably uh, a little bit upset with me for not taking it, but I'm not going to go through the hassle of, like, trying to order an armrest and all that, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and toss that back inside of here. And that's pretty much going to do it for here, guys. That's all I see inside here. Let's go ahead and um, let's go and move on to the next one. Over here at the craft supply store, guys, and look how freaking jam-packed this thing is. I wasn't even going to check because I just drove by it. Obviously, I could see everything, like, pouring out of it. But um, I just saw this thing sitting right on top. This looks like a uh, lantern. Looks seriously freaking amazing. Whoa, let's sit this down and check it out. Holy crap, it's wrapped up like a little bow, like a Christmas present on top. This is the coolest flipping lantern I've ever seen. Obviously, it's got a door on it. Um, obviously, it's going to have its flaws. Let's check out the glass. Uh, yeah, the glass is cracked right there. Oh, it's broken right there. Not a big deal, guys. You guys know I always find so many of these. I just take the glass out. It still looks really, really nice um, regardless. So, And this thing right here, I don't know. Actually, it might even supposed to be... Is it supposed to look like that? I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it actually is. I think it's supposed to look like um, these things are supposed to be coming off like that. Possibly. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Still looks freaking amazing. That is like a really, really... I've never seen a lantern um, kind of like this. I mean, it just looks really, really cool. It's, it looks like a Christmas present. Anyway, let's take a quick little look. That thing is freaking awesome. Um, like I, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm I I know I'm trying to be uh trying to be really quiet. I, I know I didn't uh, mention that, but obviously, um, security guys is like really crazy lately. I know I've been sound like a broken record. I've been telling you guys that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Looks like it's it. But like I said, security's really crazy. Um, so I'm trying to be really quiet out here. At this freaking awesome, guys. That's but that's all it's going to be inside here. We got a couple more places left. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, over here at Games. This is going to be the last dumpster for tonight. And sadly, there is going to be nothing in here at all. All these black bags are from the um the store right next door to GameStop. So sadly, this is going to do it for tonight's episode. Like I said, nothing inside of here tonight. But we did find some amazing stuff. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight and hanging out with me for a few minutes. If you are new to the channel, tune in for the first time, guys. Please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and join the Dumpster Squad because I'll be back tomorrow with a new episode.